Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing at the end. This is an instructional guide. It aims to help individuals improve their English language fluency by providing a list of 198 elementary level words that start with the letter B. This is part 5 of 8, covering numbers 101 to 125. Some other words you should understand. Noun. Verb. Adjective. Adverb. Preposition. Determiners. Prepositional phrase. Conjunction. Pronoun. Phrasal verb. One oh one block is a noun that refers to a solid piece of material, such as wood, stone, or concrete. It can also refer to a group of buildings or an obstruction that prevents movement or progress. Example sentence The children built a tower out of blocks. One oh two blog is a noun that refers to a website or online platform where an individual or group of people share their thoughts, opinions, and experiences on various topics. Example sentence, I enjoy reading my friend's blog about her travels around the world. 103. Blogger is a noun that refers to a person who writes content for a blog. Example sentence, my sister is a blogger who writes about healthy living and fitness. 104. Blonde is an adjective that describes someone or something with fair hair color, usually light yellow or golden. Example sentence, she dyed her hair blonde for the summer. 105. Blood is a noun that refers to the red fluid that circulates in the veins and arteries of humans and animals, carrying oxygen and nutrients to the body's tissues. Example sentence, the nurse took a sample of my blood for testing. 106. Blouse is a noun that refers to a woman's loose-fitting garment that covers the upper body and hangs down over the waistline. Example sentence, she wore a silk blouse with her jeans for a casual yet chic look. 107. Blow. Is a verb that means to move air forcefully or create wind by exhaling or using a fan. It can also mean to strike something with great force or cause damage. Example sentence, the wind blew so hard that it knocked over the trash cans. 108. Blue is an adjective and noun that describes something with the color between green and violet on the spectrum. It can also refer to sadness or melancholy feelings. Example sentence, the sky was blue on the day of our picnic. 109. Board is a noun that refers to a flat piece of wood, cardboard, or other material used for various purposes. It can also be a verb that means to get on or into a ship, aircraft, train, or other form of transportation. Example sentence as a noun, the carpenter used a board to make the shelves. Example sentence as a verb, we will board the plane in 30 minutes. 110. Board game is a noun that refers to a game played on a board, typically using pieces that are moved around it. Example sentence, we decided to play a board game after dinner. 111. Boarding pass is a noun that refers to a document provided by an airline during check-in, giving a passenger permission to board the airplane for a particular flight. 
Example sentence. I printed my boarding pass at home before heading to the airport. One twelve. Boat is a noun that refers to a small vessel propelled on water by oars, sails, or an engine. Example sentence. We rented a boat and went fishing on the lake. 113. Body is a noun that refers to the physical structure of a person or an animal, including the bones, flesh, and organs. Example sentence. Exercise is good for both your mind and body. 114. Boil is a verb that means to heat a liquid until it reaches its boiling point and starts to turn into vapor. Example sentence. She boiled water for tea on the stove. 115. Boiled is an adjective that describes something that has been cooked in boiling water or other liquid. Example sentence. The recipe called for boiled potatoes as one of the ingredients. 116. Bold is an adjective that means having a strong or vivid appearance that stands out from the rest. For example, she wore a bold red dress to the party. 117. Bomb is a noun that refers to an explosive device designed to cause damage or destruction. It can also be used as a verb to mean the act of attacking with a bomb. For example, the bomb exploded in the building. 118. Bone is a noun that refers to any of the hard pieces that make up the skeleton of a vertebrate animal. Bones provide support and protection for the body and also help with movement. For example, the doctor examined the x-ray of my broken bone. 119. Book is a noun that refers to a written or printed work consisting of pages glued or sewn together along one side and bound in covers. It can also be used as a verb meaning to reserve something for future use, such as a hotel room or flight ticket. For example, I love reading books in my free time. I need to book my flight for next week. 120. Bookcase is a noun that refers to a piece of furniture with shelves used for storing books. For example, she arranged her collection of books neatly on the bookcase. 121. Booking is a noun that refers to the process of reserving or arranging for something in advance, such as a hotel room or concert ticket. For example, I made a booking for our family vacation at the beach resort. 122. Booking office is a noun that refers to a place where reservations or bookings are made, such as for travel tickets or event admissions. For example, I went to the booking office to purchase tickets for the concert. 123. Bookshelf is a noun that refers to a shelf or set of shelves used for storing books. For example, he organized his books by genre on the bookshelf. 124. Bookshop is a noun that refers to a store that sells books. This term is commonly used in British English. For example, I visited the bookshop to find a new novel to read. 125. Bookstore is a noun that refers to a store that sells books. This term is commonly used in American English. For example, I love spending time browsing the shelves at the local bookstore. 
The construction workers used a large block of concrete to build the foundation of the new skyscraper. The writer experienced writer's block and couldn't come up with any ideas for his new novel. Blog Sarah writes a blog about her travels around the world, sharing stories and photos with her readers. The company's CEO started a blog to discuss industry trends and provide insight into the company's operations. Blogger The blogger wrote a scathing review of the new restaurant, causing a stir among local foodies. The fashion blogger shared her latest outfit ideas and styling tips with her followers on social media. Blonde The blonde actress starred in several popular movies in the Dash 990s. My sister dyed her hair blonde for the summer, but she's planning to go back to her natural color soon. Blood when you donate blood, you could be saving someone's life. The doctor ordered a blood test to check for any underlying health issues. Blouse. She wore a silk blouse and tailored pants to the job interview. The vintage blouse had intricate embroidery and delicate lace details. Blow. The strong winds caused trees to sway and branches to blow around wildly. He blew out the candles on his birthday cake and made a wish. Blue. The sky was a beautiful shade of blue on that clear summer day. She painted her bedroom walls a calming shade of blue to promote relaxation and sleep. Board. The company's board of directors held an emergency meeting to discuss the financial crisis. He nailed a board across the broken window to keep out intruders. Board game. We played a board game called Monopoly for hours on end, trying to become real estate tycoons. The family gathered around the kitchen table to play their favorite board game, Clue. Boarding Pass She printed her boarding pass at home before leaving for the airport to save time. The flight attendant scanned his boarding pass and directed him to his seat on the plane. Boat they rented a small boat and spent the day fishing on the lake. The cruise ship was a massive boat that could hold thousands of passengers. Body. She went to the gym regularly to keep her body in shape and maintain good health. The forensic team examined the body for any signs of foul play. Boil. He boiled water in a pot on the stove to make tea. The chef boiled potatoes until they were tender enough to mash. Boiled. She ate a boiled egg and a slice of toast for breakfast every morning. The recipe called for boiled chicken as one of the ingredients. Bold. Bold text stands out on a web page and draws attention to important information. The designer chose a bold font for the company's logo to make it more memorable and recognizable. Bomb. The terrorist group planted a bomb in the city center, causing widespread panic and destruction. She tried a new recipe for homemade bath bombs, which turned out to be a fun DIY project. Bone. 
the doctor ordered an x-ray to check for any broken bones in his leg. My dog loves chewing on bones as a treat and to keep her teeth clean. Book. I borrowed a book from the library and read it over the weekend. The bookstore had a wide selection of books, from bestsellers to obscure titles. Bookcase. He built a custom bookcase for his collection of rare first edition books. The antique bookcase had intricate carvings and was a family heirloom. Booking. The hotel confirmed my booking for a room with a view of the ocean. She made a booking for two at the restaurant for their anniversary dinner. Booking office. The train station's booking office was closed due to renovations, so passengers had to buy tickets online. He went to the airline's booking office to change his flight reservation. Bookshelf. She organized her books by genre and displayed them neatly on the bookshelf in her living room. The bookshelf was overflowing with books, magazines, and knickknacks. Bookshop, British English. I love browsing through the shelves at my local bookshop, looking for new titles to read. The independent bookshop hosted author readings and book signings regularly. Bookstore, American English. The bookstore chain had a cafe inside where customers could grab a coffee and read a book. She worked part-time at the bookstore while she was in college to earn extra money. Hope you were able to learn something new. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson.